All right, so I guess we can kind of nix the whole Kenny Britt back to Patriots. Yeah, thing. I go ahead and cross this rumor off. They worked him out today. I'd be dealing with a hamstring injury, but the Patriots have since traded for Josh Gordon. So it doesn't quite make as much sense for the Patriots to bring back Britt, even though at one point it seemed like he was going to be the, the a key part of that offense, and then he got hurt, and then they cut him, and Patriots keep churning through receivers. Hopefully Gordon ends that churning process. Yep. All right, so Kenny Britt, perhaps not back to the New England Patriots. Mm. I do think your Des Bryant theory is dead, though, Cam. <sighs> it ain't dead, it's folks. Dead. I'm sorry, buddy. It's dead. It's you said dead. life support earlier, so I can mm, accept that. It's dead. Hanging on by a thread here. Mm. Yeah. Maybe Des Bryant goes to Philadelphia. Maybe he goes to Houston. Maybe he goes somewhere else. I mean, mm. who knows? But I still think Des Bryant makes a lot of sense to the New England mm. Patriots, so we shall see. All right, next up here, the Raiders general manager Reggie McKenzie to be fired in 2019. Uh, that's the report from CBS. JLC says that Gruden and McKenzie heading for a split. Maybe it's not a firing cam. Maybe it's a mutual parting of ways in the end there. But I have I have a tough time seeing. This is McKen John Gruden running the show. McKenzie's not running the show anymore. No. And I actually disagree with that because I think McKenzie's done a really good job in Oakland, but now he's gone. So at that point, what do you end up doing if you're, if you're the Oakland Raiders? Like, McKenzie's not making the calls. I don't know if he even wants to be there. Yeah. Like, I don't think he and Gruden agree 100% here. I think that's a big difference maker there for the Oakland Raiders. So the parting of ways is supposed to come at some point before the draft, mm. which makes sense. So mm. keep that in mind there. Yeah. All right. Which makes sense because you want to do it before the draft because why do it after? It just it doesn't make sense not to do it otherwise. Yep. More NFL rumors here on the show. Dan Bailey is now a member of the Minnesota Vikings, ladies and gentlemen. This news came through a couple of hours ago. <sighs> Didn't want, did not want to leave the Cowboys, but he did, Cam. What do you think? We don't have the money in yet. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like maybe $2 million a year because he had turned down other offers and he gets to go to a dome for a contending team. I think that's kind of what he wanted in the end. And he ended up getting that there. So I, I think that's good there for the, for the Vikings. Dan, Dan, Daniel Carlson, Carlson was not good enough, plain no. and simple. He was really bad yesterday for the Minnesota Vikings. More Super Chats coming in. Man of 1,005 holds, whatever that means. When oh, the he's Pats, Eric Flowers. <laughs> when the Pats lose, they win. It's because they lost against the Jags, and then they won by getting Josh Gordon. Oh, I see yeah, what he's saying. Well played now there. I get it. Now Another get it. Super Chat coming in. What is the future of the Bucks? I'm concerned because if, it's Winston, interesting. if Winston isn't your guy, then who is? You're going to have to find him in the draft, and if you're winning with, with Ryan Fitzpatrick, then eh, it's confusing. It's confusing for me. Let me That's ask you this. Future. Can the Tampa Bay Buccaneers make the playoffs with Ryan Fitzpatrick at quarterback? Uh, I still think no, but we'll see. That defense <laughs> looking okay. Has, they, they look very Deshaun good so Jackson. far. I'll give them that. They look good so far. Hey, watch out for Tampa Bay this season. All right, how about this? Maybe a Bryce Butler in Dallas Cowboys reunion time. I am so frustrated by this. So the Cowboys front office said, oh, no, we're fine at wide receiver. We don't need anybody. That's why we're not going to go get Josh Gordon. And then they're going to bring back Bryce Butler. But why? Like, here's the thing that, about Bryce Butler. He's actually not very good. He's not good. His <laughs> drop rate, everyone rips on Des Bryant, I think rightfully so, for dropping so many passes. Bryce Butler dropped a higher percentage. His drop rate was worse. We know who Bryce Butler is. He'll make some nice plays. He'll be a big, a, a big play threat as well, but he's not going to put up more than 500 yards. That's what he's never done. He's never been that guy in the NFL. So, no, I, I don't like the signing of Bryce Butler, which hasn't happened officially yet, but Cowboys seem to lean that way. They don't know who they're going to cut, by the way. There's been some buzz that Terrence Williams could be suspended. That's a big reason why they're looking into adding Bryce Butler, because there's some chemistry there with Dak Prescott. All right, Tom, how about this rumor? Could we have oh, a God, blockbuster stop Antonio stop Brown no, stop trade? Stop All right, it. let me first give the background here. So a former Steelers employee criticized Antonio Brown, saying he would not be as good without Ben Roethlisberger. Brown clapped back and said, trade me, let's find out. And by the way, Tom, Antonio Brown was visually upset on the sideline yesterday, yelling at the coaching staff. So, was, so was Tom Brady. Are they going to trade Tom Brady? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, they're not going to trade Antonio Brown because they're not stupid. They're trying to win games right now. They're not going to trade Antonio Brown. Even though I've seen that rumor out there as well, so I'm glad you brought it up so I can destroy it because it's not going to happen. Still has three years he's left just, on his deal. He's just clapping back at, at, at a Twitter person. That's all, that's all that is. He's not asking for a trade. You don't it's think, not you know, because Le'Veon Bell isn't there and all that. No, they're going to get Bell back hopefully soon for my fantasy team, and then, then they'll be fine. All right. They'll be fine. Next up on the list here, folks, Brashad Perryman. 
reportedly is signing with the Redskins. Yeah, not a rumor came across the wire about oh, 10 minutes ago, quite accurate, so we changed our graphic for you guys. He has signed with the Redskins, and Cam, I think you know what I'm going to say. But why? Right. Because why bother? They also worked out, by the way, Michael Floyd and Kendall Wright. I would have taken both those guys instead of Rashad Perriman. They also worked out former first-round bust Paxton Lynch. So the Reds are just trying to find old guys, or not old, but former players who have busted out. I don't know why you would want Rashad Perriman. And to pick him over Des Bryant, like, why? You yell about Dez's hands. Perryman sucks. He's just bad. Tom. Like, he's bad. Why would football. you bring him in? I, I don't know. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Former first-round pick out of UCF. All right, let's go to Le'Veon Bell. Is he returning soon? Well, his I hope agent so. was at the game yesterday, which is kind of funny. I, I hope that's a promising sign. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's. Um, I hope that Lev Bell reports real soon, because back to your fancy team. Of yeah, course. my fancy team, and also Pittsburgh needs him because James Conner's a nice player, but he's not Lev Bell. He's just not. So I would, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think, need Lev Bell back. By the way, I'll take it way back. And producer Brett Scott mentioned this to me earlier this week. Emmett Smith held out two games. Mm -hmm. Came back, won MVP, Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Maybe, maybe Pittsburgh does something similar. Just saying. Hey, it's happened before. See. They haven't looked good so far. Yes. That overall, just <laughs> in these two games for Pittsburgh. But we shall see.